are in a bee. <coughs> you're in a bees. Oh, sorry. <coughs> oh, maybe this wasn't such a good <coughs> idea. <coughs> I um I just wanted to come in and, and touch base with you guys and tell you I'm alive. <laughs> um uh, <coughs> it's been a rough, rough few weeks. <coughs> Um, I'm sorry I haven't been able to get on here. Today's the first day that I've actually been able to be upright and um, feeling somewhat human. Um, <clears throat> I uh, <clears throat> don't know, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know if what I had was COVID or not. I don't, I didn't go get tested and cause there's really no point. There's no point in me getting tested because all they're going to say to me is go home, isolate. And if you can't breathe, go to the hosp <coughs> hospital. So <clears throat> there's just, there's nothing they can do. Right. So, um, I've been to hell and back. I really have. Uh, George got off pretty easy with this. Uh, he was down for uh, about three days. He, I've never seen him that sick. But, I mean, for him, like, he never gets a cold. He never, um, he never gets sick. So for him to actually be on the couch and shivering and being um flu like like that that really worried me but uh <clears throat> he um he got out of it pretty quickly because he's really strong he's he's got a great immune system and everything so he kicked it pretty fast i on the other hand did not i thought i did um last time i talked to you guys I thought, okay, I've just got a little bit of cold, head cold, um, no big deal. <clears throat> that went on for about a week, and then, uh, then it hit me hard, hard. Um, it actually scared me. Uh, I was, um, you know, it's typical flu symptoms, feverish, um, chills, uh, stuff like that. But <clears throat> my skin hurt. Uh, my, like my back skin, uh, there's skin on my back. <clears throat> Felt like I had a second degree burn and electrical charges were going through my skin. It was so painful. Um, and then it just progressed from there. I could barely get out of bed. <clears throat> um, I was, yeah, I was really, really sick. Um, that went on for about a week. <clears throat> and uh, it was weird. It was like one day I'd feel like, okay, maybe I'm coming out of this. The next day, I'd be in the hell again, <clears throat> and it was just, it kept doing that. And um, but the back, my pain, the pain in my back never subsided until a couple days ago. Um, my my breasts hurt bad, like I it was it was weird. I, you know, when, when you're that sick, you start, your mind starts playing tricks on you and you start thinking things that aren't there. And like, I started thinking, oh my God, now I got breast cancer and, you know, but I don't, <clears throat> but my breasts hurt so bad. And I thought, what is happening to me? Like, this is not part of COVID. Like, what the hell? So then I started thinking, maybe I don't have COVID. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe I've got something else. You know, like, I didn't know what to think. <clears throat> um, 
a week as a kitten. Like, I am still, I'm just drained of energy. Um, just trying to lift my head was horrible. Um, it scared the hell out of George. He's still worried. Um, <clears throat> I am a lot better than I was. I'm actually up and dressed. I had a shower. I'm eating. Um, anytime I tried to eat, it would just come right out of me. Um, it was, <coughs> it was off. I have no appetite at all. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been, uh, really hard, really hard. So, <clears throat> and I've been getting messages from people left, right, and center saying that how, how sick they are and they're vaccinated, <clears throat> you know, so, um, they feel like they're on death's door too, you know, and I don't know what this is, but it is a super flu of some sort. <clears throat> and, uh, it's, it doesn't matter if you're vaccinated or not, it's going to kick your ass. It really is, and it's <clears throat> it's a hard one, guys. It really is a hard one. I just, <clears throat> I've got a good immune system, and this was, I think, one of the sickest I've been in years, <clears throat> and I'm not over it yet. I'm not over it. I'm maybe at 80%, maybe, <coughs> excuse me, um, <clears throat> I'm keeping touch with, um, certain people, and <clears throat> I've been letting them know that, you know, I'm still here, um, still sick, but, uh, I wanted you guys to know, because you guys have been sending me wonderful comments. And thank you so much for your support. I have not been able to lift a crochet hook. Um, I could barely lift anything like a cup. I'm just, I'm so weak. So, um, I'm sorry I have nothing to show you. Uh, but this video was more... <clears throat> to tell you that I'm still here. I'm still fighting this. Uh, I have been watching videos. <coughs> I actually just finished watching Lynette from Charm Grammy. She just went through COVID. She said her doctor told her it's going to be three months to get over this because she's exhausted all the time too. I'm thinking three months, my God. Like, the sickness itself is almost going a month. <clears throat> now i got to wait three months to try and get somewhat back to normalcy. Good Lord. Like, wow. And I'm, I'm taking all my vitamins. I'm taking triple doses of vitamin C, vitamin D, iron, zinc, uh... <clears throat> ashwagandha, you know, um, the ashwagandha has really helped because it actually helps me sleep. Oh, sleep. Oh, my God. I was up all night twice. I could not sleep for my life. My body was exhausted, but I couldn't sleep. And <clears throat> my eyes just would not close. And... I actually, like, I tried NyQuil. NyQuil did the opposite of what it was supposed to do. Um, so the ashwagandha actually helped me sleep. And it's plant. It's plant-based vit <coughs> plant vitamin. So um, it actually knocked me out. And it, finally, I slept. <clears throat> but... Uh, yeah, it's, it's been rough. So, <clears throat> but 
but I'm I'm okay. Well, I'm not okay, but I'm here. I'm um, thinking about all of you. Uh, keep the comments coming. It's the thing that's getting me through the day. If you want to email me, please do. Crochetacanada, gmail.com. Send me a hello. Um, you know, I it, it really does get me through. You guys are, you lift me up. You really do. <clears throat> I know you guys all said, go get tested, go get tested. Number one, I couldn't even get out of bed. I was, I was so sick. I couldn't, I couldn't even, like, no, I couldn't even leave the house. I haven't left the house since Christmas. Um, so, uh, you know, and, and to go get tested, it's like, okay, so they say, okay, you've got it. Now what? Go home. Okay. You know, like, <laughs> it's just no, no point. So, <clears throat> so anyway, um, yeah, I just, um, take care of yourselves, okay? Because you don't want this. Whatever this is, you don't want it. It's, uh, it's a rough one. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and relax. <coughs> I'm sure you're tired of me coughing in your ear. <coughs> um, yeah. Okay, I love you all. Thank you so much. And uh, I will talk to you guys hopefully soon. Okay. Bye.